It's 2.45 p.m. And out on the quiet blue waters off Miami, another group of divers is getting ready to explore a unique site on the seafloor. About 40 feet down beneath this boat lies an underwater cemetery more than three miles out at sea. It's called Neptune Memorial Reef. The memorials are made from the cremated remains of the dead, which are mixed with concrete and formed into shapes like shells and starfish. Today, a new memorial is ready to be laid to rest. After all the other divers are in the water, Jim Hutzler, who oversees the memorial, holds the 35-pound starfish to his chest and jumps in. It's just a short dive to reach the bottom. Even though it might look like one, Neptune Memorial Reef is not an archaeological relic from the past. It's a newly built underwater mausoleum for cremated remains. The crumbling ruins are based on an artist's imaginings of what the lost city of Atlantis might look like today. To get the permits for the project, the owners had to build the reef structures to withstand 100 mile per hour hurricanes. Now it's a popular site for recreational divers, as well as the family members of those who are memorialized here. Underwater, it takes Jim just 30 minutes to place the new memorial and attach it to the sea floor. Before he heads back to the surface, he'll mark the spot on a map of the reef so the family of the deceased can come to visit anytime they want. Thank you.